Hello! Today I'd like to announce the start of this new game development blog. I've started working on a sort of first-person shooter roguelike game, which I am really excited about. If you've seen this channel before quite recently, that might make sense to you. I made a very simple shooter called Life Blaster for Ludum Dare 44, and a similar pounce em up called Vamp for Ludum Dare 46. These small incremental jam games have led me to thinking about a more long-term game project. Woo! So what have I done already? Well, I've been working on the base engine, a lot. I've been working on a deferred rendering system, which can process a large number of lights, a post-processing stack so the game can include fancy effects like bloom and depth of field, and I've also been working on some level building tools. This is all being done handmade, from scratch in C++, OpenGL and GLSL. I'll be posting source code and early builds regularly over on my Patreon, so if you're a low level nerd like myself, or are trying to learn any of these things, that might help you. Anyway, let's show some of that new stuff in more detail. Here's a really simple empty arena to run around in. If I render with lighting, you can see that everything will go dark. I have a few point lights about the place, and the scene lights up around them. I can make these lights have a bigger radius, a different colour, and also make them flicker a little. That's all I need for the moment to give a sense of atmosphere, but I will want to do much more with lighting in the future, and may go to more depth on this in a future video. For post-processing, I have implemented a sort of node-based system. I don't have any fancy visual editing tools at the moment, so each input and output is hard-coded. This makes it a little difficult to toggle each part on and off individually, for example as user options, but this is also work that can come later. I have some basic directional shadows, configurable levels of bloom, screen space ambient occlusion, as well as colour grading with a lookup table. What other post-processing should I implement here? Let me know down in the comments. Just don't say motion blur, because I hate motion blur. Lastly, I have built some simple level building tools. I can block out navigable areas, and I can add markers for enemies, lights, pickups, and other objects. I will be working on these more too, adding the ability to pick and extrude faces, edges, and individual vertices. This will be to create more interesting geometry, like tunnels, pits, slopes, and so on. So where do I go from here? Besides lighting, post-processing and tools, engine stuff, the sky is the limit, there's so much open scope at the moment. I don't have an art direction or a theme nailed down yet. Do I go fantasy themed or more sci-fi themed? I'm not sure yet. All I know is that I'll be writing some kick-ass guns and some bonkers enemies, probably. How do you think I should theme this game? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching peeps. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All of the links are on screen and down below in the description. And that's it for now. Have a good day, evening or weekend. Bye.